you're going through this series of, of movies, um, when's the point that you just realized that, hey, this is the rock bottom, this is enough? Was it, you, were you starting not to get work or having trouble with, on set with work, or was it kind of like work and everything else didn't matter anymore? Well, I gotta tell you, like, for the most part, you know, I've had my few hiccups here and there, but for the most part, I've been sober at work, like, mm -hmm. I, you know, even when I was fucked up. Mm -hmm. um, if I had to clean up before work, I would do it, you know, but, um, so, I mean, it really, I mean, honestly, like, yeah, my career was getting affected, but that wasn't even enough, sure. you know, like, I think, like, the biggest, you know, kind of thing that I, as I took everything for granted, kind of, mm -hmm. like, I, I stopped realizing how lucky I was. Yeah. And I just was willing to let it all go. And I didn't care. Like, mm -hmm. I just didn't care. And, like, uh, it got to, um, it just got to a point where, you know, I looked in the mirror. And it's, and it's always that same old shit, but I was looking in the mirror and I just didn't recognize who I was anymore. Like, um, you know. And I was, like, I was with a girl and I, I still love her and... You know, and I was just seeing what it's doing to her, mm -hmm. and just yeah. sort of like the whole toxic thing. And it's just, you know, I just realized I didn't want to be that anymore. Like, that's when, that's yeah. when I knew it was done. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it just, you know, I got some crazy happened mm -hmm. in like my life, and you know, for good reasons. I did sort of feel sorry for myself for sure. a while, and you know. I was like, you know, because I actually had bouts of heroin addiction. Like, I went through it, and then I stopped, and then I do a little coke and whatever. But it's like heroin really drags me down. So then when I was, like, kind of in this really bad place, I was just like, F it, dude, I'm going to shoot up heroin again and give up. And, uh, you know, like, a lot of times we don't die. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not suicidal, but it was like, I didn't give a shit, You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So it's like... Um, and a lot, you know, and I was, like, on a four-year run. And it was, like, I'm, like, dude, this is four years, man. Like, my life, like, the world is moving on. Like, yeah. people are, you know, you're, like, in your own little prison. Sure. So, you know, I, uh, yeah, just couldn't take it anymore. Yeah. I think that's the thing that, again, for people that, you know, tune in for uh, for different reasons and, and don't understand is that it really is such a prison in your mind and it messes with your head because there's such a part of you that wants to be in the driver's seat but it's not yeah and that, that addiction is and it's just such a feeling dude it's it's you know yeah i don't even know i'm trying to figure out a way to kind of describe it it's yeah you've lost yeah you've definitely like lost control and uh you know, it's it's like a vicious cycle, you know what I mean? Like, the more, like, you do that, the worse it's going to get. The yeah. more you're going to feel sorry for yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to, you know. I mean, and it all, like, stems from, like, deeper kind of issues. Like, I, you know, I suffer from depression personally, you know. So, and, uh, you know that just it, it just exacerbates it yeah. so it's like you know you have to get to this point where you're just like you know what because we all naturally want to be like i know what's up dude i don't need to be told what to do or whatever but you have to get to a point because we are you know we are like a flock of birds dude we need each other yeah. and it's like you know it's like you have to get to the point where you're just like i need to take direction yeah i yeah. need to like you know i don't know what's up right now and i need help you know and that's a hard thing to do yeah, yeah. no uh, and i relate because for me my recognition of it came after my divorce to my my kid's mom and you know i blame that that marriage and stuff and then realizing now where i'm at in life it's like it's all the f up shit that happened to me when i was a little kid that led me to the kind of relationships that i sought out and probably you know kind of the same for her and a lot of her whatever her trauma was and yeah. we just bonded with that trauma and we were like a supernova like when things were good it was fiery passion but when things were bad it was a 
an explosion of dynamite, you know? Exactly. And um, yeah, yeah. Same thing, man. Like relationships, everything. You know, my ex wife. Dude, it's just, you know, and yeah, you're like the biggest part of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's not, the drugs are a symptom, but it's right. your thinking that is what you know gets you into trouble and it's also like your mind is going to tell you that you know you can figure this out on your own kind of thing but like you really can't like um you know and uh i mean the good news for me at least is like you know my life isn't you know exactly you know where i expect it to be you know mm -hmm. like but you know, like the amount of work that we put in as drug addicts, you focus that work on the positive things every day, you know, like it's amazing, dude. It's like, you know, I, you know, every time I'm like, God, I want to, you know, shoot up, I, f you know, go on a run or, you know, do something loving for somebody, you know what I mean? And that energy just starts surrounding you. And before you know it, it's like you don't even want to do it anymore. Yeah. Well, and it builds which, what I'm hearing too is that the thing of that we, I think at least for me was wanting a sense of connectivity and like I said, very much a shy kid, awkward kid. Only time I felt comfortable when I was being a goofball or doing a goofball voice or yeah. whatever it was or um, so was in wanting that connectivity and then you know it started out that way and it was a good time but then it got so far away from it that. I lost that ability to um, identify those positive things, those act of kindnesses, the, 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 um, was the term that uh, Lamar Odom shared about Kobe Bryant, selfishly unselfish. So it's like, yeah. okay, in your yeah. doing for somebody else and being there for them, it's, it's, it's unselfish, but at the time it's coming back to you tenfold and you don't even realize because it's now giving you a sense of community to reach out, to help others, to be present for those, Yeah, you know, being present for my children now or my friends or whatever. It's it's kind of a trip. It's like, yeah. I, don't, I don't even, is that how you do it? Guys, can you confirm for me that's how you do it? Because I was never very good at this. Now yeah. I'm good. I guess I'm getting there. Yeah, it's weird, man. I think us drug addicts are spiritual as hell dude like mm -hmm. i just think like just naturally you are and then, like in the right place we we just are dude but uh yeah man um it's funny dude like i remember just in my 20s like you know this girl i was dating i mean she was like crying i was literally you know, i was late teens 20s and it just she was freaked out because like if we went out anywhere it's like okay well i have to make at the time was screwdrivers so i had to drink up like three screwdrivers just so we could go out sure and i was like trying to explain to her like i don't know i just don't feel comfortable around people unless i'm drunk you know? anxiety. yeah and yeah, i just freaked yeah. her out dude it just freaked her out and it's like yeah it's still like that man i mean you know like i think every time and believe me two and a half years dude like i'm still literally like I, you know, a, a, a family member died basically just recently, and I was with my cousin. <clears throat> well, it's my cousin's mom, but uh, yeah, I was there for my cousin, and like, you know, I hadn't seen my whole family in like, I don't know, like 20 years or anything, and I was like, and dude, I had never wanted to drink so fucking bad. Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, you know, but it's like, you get better at like weighing the consequences of everything. You know, I don't want to lose everything that I've gotten. Right. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. I feel like, you know, I'm not a religious person, but I feel like there's something out there maybe. Sure. And I think, you know, just, um, you can kind of feel it in your instincts and shit. And it's like, you know, like, um, yeah, I just, you know, get that vibe that it's like time to sort of suit up and just, you know, do something to be proud of.